For centuries we've been using the traditional method of teaching, where the teacher or lecturer stands in front of the class. Teachers teach at students with no guarantee that the students understood or learned anything. This approach is not ideal, as it is not student focused and also does not guarantee that learning takes place. This is because learners might have lost concentration or did not understand what the lecturer or teacher is explaining. It is also generally boring as the student just have to sit and listen for the duration of the lesson and it does not provide them with the opportunity to engage with each other or with the teacher. And learning mainly happens when students can make sense of the information for themselves and engagement helps here. For a few years now, research into learning and teaching has shown benefits of moving to a student-centered approach where constructivism is key. Constructivism means that students should construct their own understanding of the knowledge by building on what they already know, or co-construct it in a social learning environment through peer discussions and group work. With a boom in technology and the expansion of the internet, moving to a student-centered approach became a little bit easier and blended learning came about. Now what exactly is blended learning, you might ask? It is a teaching and learning approach whereby you use online learning and FaceTime together for learning. And when this is done correctly, it can lead to deep and meaningful learning experiences for your students. Blended learning blends together learning principles, learning theories, the web and technology to create an online learning and face-to-face -face learning experience. Normally, a learning management system is used for the online learning component, but other online tools can also be used. The FaceTime can also be in class or online through live sessions. But the whole idea of blended learning is to create a link between the online and FaceTime component, creating a learning continuum. It is therefore important that these two components integrate well. Blended learning occurs on the spectrum, as you have face-to-face -face contact time on the one side and the full online learning experience on the other side. The blend happens somewhere in the middle, between the two. But it's up to you, the teacher, to find the balance, as there is no right way to blend a course. It can be 70% face-to-face and 30% online, or the other way around. It can also be 50-50. The important thing is that you find the mix that works for you and your students. It is important to note that you shouldn't use technology just for the sake of using technology but to focus on whether what you are trying to achieve truly enhance the learning and understanding of your students. Therefore, it is crucial to start with the learning outcomes and work your way from there.